Hello everyone, my name is Rupinder Syal and welcome to Spartan Tutorials. So as you know, coronavirus vaccination program has been launched throughout India and over 2 lakh people have been given the vaccination doses. So in this short video today, I will talk about the two vaccines that have been approved for use by the government of India and what are their mechanisms, their biological mechanisms, their design and how effective they are in the clinical trials. Okay, so two vaccines that have been approved are Covishield and Covaxin. Now let's talk about Covishield first. Covishield has been designed by a collaboration between University of Oxford and AstraZeneca, which is a UK and Swedish based pharmaceutical company. Now how is Covishield designed? Covishield is an adenovirus based vaccine. Now adenoviruses are viruses which cause diseases like common cold and in this case what researchers have done is that they have taken the chimpanzee adenovirus, inactivated it so that it cannot replicate inside humans and they have replaced its double-stranded DNA genome with the spike protein DNA. So the DNA which produces the spike protein of the coronavirus. Spike protein as you know are present on the surface of the coronavirus and they are heavily glycosylated. So that means that there are, there are a lot of carbohydrate molecules which are attached to them and that helps them to escape from the immune system. That's how they can escape from the detection by the immune system. So what this Covishield vaccine does is it has an adenovirus which carries the spike protein gene, double-stranded DNA, okay, which will be injected. Okay, And what happens is that it will be taken up by the host cells by endocytosis where the adenovirus genome will translocate to the nucleus and it will produce the spike protein mRNA through the process of transcription and then with the process of translation it will produce the spike protein inside the human host cells. So the person who gets the vaccine will produce the uh, spike protein inside some of their cells. Now what will happen is the triggering of immune system after that. So it is kind of based on three branches. So what will happen is based on a process called antigen presentation, which is basically how the immune system alerts, the uh, how the human cells alert the other immune cells that something foreign is roaming inside their cells, is that they will display these parts of the spike protein or the whole spike protein on the surface of their cells, which will trigger the helper T cells and the B cells. Uh, those of you who are familiar with immunology will know this pretty well, but helper T cells will trigger the uh, cytotoxic response which will kill the infected cells and the B cells will help in producing the antibodies. And the third major arm of the immune system is triggering of the antigen presenting cells like dendritic cells which will also trigger the killer cells, the natural killer cells of the immune system. So that's the overall design of the vaccine. So that is the mechanism. Now in the clinical trials which was published in the prestigious medical journal, The Lancet, the vaccine had an efficacy of 62% to 90% which was based on the different doses. So the current vaccination program is based on a half dose in the first uh, vaccination program. Uh, step that has been done and after 28 days you will get a second dose okay and that is the full dose and that has been shown to have 90 percent efficacy so it is a pretty uh, efficient vaccine the phase three clinical trials which is the final phase of the clinical trials have been completed so the vaccine is ready to go now the advantages of covishield is that number one it has been proven to be efficacious it is based on double-stranded dna so it can be stored at relatively easier to obtain temperature which is 2 to 8 degrees Celsius which is the normal fridge temperature and not the minus 20 or lower temperatures which is obtained in the freezer compartments. So it has a longer shelf life which is very good for a large country like India where logistics can be very difficult. So making sure that every person has the vaccine in the right time and in the far-flung regions of uh, the country is very important. So I think Covishield will have a very good response once it gets access, to, uh, once it, once all the people get access to this vaccine. Now let's talk about the second vaccine, which is the Covaxin. Covaxin is produced by Bharat Biotech 
and this uh, vaccine was developed in collaboration with Indian Council of Medical Research ICMR and National Institute of Virology. So the researchers in the development of Covaxin what they did was they isolated the coronavirus Indian isolate so the Indian strain of the coronavirus they inactivated it with chemicals uh, especially beta propiolactone basically what it did was it killed the virus but it kept the proteins intact so the proteins of the virus which can trigger the immune system they are intact but the virus is totally dead which is the basic underlying principle of any vaccine many vaccines have been developed like this they are inactivated pathogens okay so the problem the only slight issue with covaxin is that the phase 3 clinical trials are still continuing and they have not been completed yet so there is a slight controversy in and there is a slight apprehension in the general public about the efficacy of covaxin and many doctors in fact there was a news report yesterday that many doctors uh, in many hospitals for example Raman or Lohia hospital and others they have kind of apprehensions about taking the covaxin because the data is not there so I hope the both the vaccines are efficient and we should look forward to publication of the complete phase 3 clinical trial data for covaxin and I hope that this pandemic gets over soon okay I hope this information was useful to you guys if you liked it please consider giving it a giving it a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel. See you in our next video. Take care. Bye-bye.